Hello and welcome to our fifth and final round with Nahiri Just Guy Black. Uh, this looks great. I get to vision for the first time. Opponent Mulliganed. I think. Well, I'm suspending vision on one. The question is, how do I do that? Whether I, how I take damage to that. I think I just want to get Watery Grave. Because I actually want the Watery Grave to flash back souls. And I want to... Yeah. There's a lot of combinations of land I could see myself getting in the near future. So I think I just take the damage in the dark. Okay. So we've probably got some variant of a mirror match going on. Um, Is there a two drop in these matchups that I'm actually afraid of? I don't think so. So I'm just going to Celestial and go for the Souls on three. Again, taking the damage. I think I just want Steam Vents here. I think just blue sources are useful in this kind of matchup. I'm fine trading half of this for a card, so this mana leak that's incoming is not concerning. If it's a remand, that's slightly more obnoxious, but I'm also okay that if it was a remand that it didn't get used on the back half. Use leak here and then flashback souls. Because it baits a weird Nahiri fight the best, I think. So if my opponent Nahiri is, I just bolt snap it. That's fine. I draw a million cards because I have a vision, and then my opponent doesn't have a Nahiri. So. Suspended so many clicks online. Or I could just make a million spirit tokens. <sighs> Which of those is more exciting? Could be like, uh, did Pete have a main deck supreme verdict? Should play against player on that. And that's the worst of the two. And then I go white, blue, KO, then a Hiri. This Scalding Tarn is going to fetch a blue-white untapped, or tapped, sorry, that one. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And I think I want to do that in order to play around Mana Leak. And I'll just signal that I'm not intending to flash back here, which is fine by me. Now I just leave up Remand.
Um, I'm okay not fetching here because I wanted to leave up Reman Path for weird spots. Yeah, you can leave the party today. Also because I guess I'm like... Um, the other reason not to fetch is that it doesn't really matter too much. Um, all of the... I got my two good blue duels and I only need one black source really. Water Grave isn't going to do a ton. We didn't recast souls because the fear is supreme verdict in some way, shape, or form. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I just get another blue jewel. Just so I don't draw it. That's. Decent. Um, I don't see the need to go for the kill here. Um, especially because Cryptic Command... If I had an 8th land, I would go for the kill because I could remand a Cryptic Command and still kill. Sure. You can go to 4. 4 does not seem like a safe life total in the slightest. Um... Here, I don't mind flashbacking. Because if I get land verdicted, my opponent can only have one card left. And I can then cast snap. That's yeah, fine. Cast snap, animate, attack, and then... It's just like the sequence. It's just too convoluted for my opponent to actually win the game. Okay, cool. So this is a mirror of some sort, or pseudo-mirror. Path to Exile is not very good here. Um, I don't mind... So let's go through the list. So these cards are great. Not huge on Timely. Or Herd kills Nahiri. That's interesting. I wouldn't mind a Crumble to Dust to take care of Celestials. Um, Counterflux is okay, but not great. Not huge on Slaughter Games. I actually really like the idea of Crackling Doom because it breaks into Hiri Ultimate. Uh, not huge on Wear Tear. So this seems like a better path. Not huge on Electrolyze. Don't really like that. Spell Snare, Counter Snapcaster, so it has to stay. Remand, Mana Leak, these are fine cards. I guess you can board out... Eh, no. It's like these six cards are the unexciting ones. Nahiri still seems just great as a way to filter cards. But I'm willing to be proven wrong on that. Maybe it's just like these six for these six and live without the hard counter or the crumble. Hard counter is kind of a clunk -a dunk and uh, only really truly great against Nahiri because it's not a good defensive card, and then crumble is just kind of a hedge against Celestial when I'm already boarding in Dooms. I also have Souls, so I kind of have uh, Celestial sort of unlock in the mirror. Like, my opponent can attack with their Colonnade, and then I can chump to buy time, so it's not, or like, make four tokens and block or whatever. Um, does the fact that I have souls change anything? I don't think it does. I think, if anything, the fact that I have souls means my opponent's going to have to leave their deck in a worse configuration. Uh, you know? You know? 
This hand is not good. <laughs> I was trying to convince myself to keep it, but not quite. Um, do I want a Crackling Doom in this matchup in this spot? This hand is interesting in this regard. Hmm. You know, I think I can, uh, if I need it by the time that Celestial is online, I can vision into something else. So I'm going to use, I think I still want to get aggressive with my pains here. Or my fetch pains. Yep, okay, well, really do now. So I want to go Delta Grave. I don't think there's a beat down too that scares me, so I'm okay not leaving up snare. Uh, I guess I should have boarded down on... I guess Bolt Pressuring to here is pretty key. I don't think I want either of these because I think the card I'm looking for is a land. Even though Snapcaster is one of the best cards, I think you can ship it early to hit your land drops. Sure. I guess there was a two drop that I could have countered. Not one that I wanted to counter, but one that I could have countered if I wanted to. Um, uh, I'm going to fetch a blue-white uh, because I would like to be able to vision into the basic mountain and leave up mana leak. Well, sure. I'll just do nothing instead then. My thought was I might have to vision that turn to hit land drops. I guess I actually should have visioned on two. There's not a lot of threes that scare me here. Yeah, I should have visioned on two. I got lucky. I want both of those. I think it's in that order, too. I don't want to cast anything. I'm just primed for a counterspell fight. Uh, I'm kind of in trouble if my opponent goes V-click Nahiri. They didn't. That's very lucky. Vendillion Click is probably one of the better cards in these mirror matches. I don't think I can... I can't Souls into a follow-up Nahiri. It's a little too good for my opponent. Four. Resto Angel. That's fine. I will... Eventually be able to Nahiri that even though they can't trip. Or I'll just souls through it or just something horrible will happen to Resto Angel. Um, am I interested in trading for a card? Not especially. That's a problem. Well, I think I want to get a little aggro here. Kill the Resto. I think this is my opening to like Spell Snare thing. Especially because Mana Leak is quickly becoming a non-card. Yeah, maybe that's like the good reason to have used Mana Leak that turn is because it basically becomes a non-card immediately. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think if I had path instead of bolt, things would be good. This is another resto. That's a big problem. Resto pressuring the Hiri is probably good in these mirrors. Just having a flash threat also good. I guess I should have known there was a resto in my opponent's deck when I saw Wall of Omens. Eh, no, there's just Wall of Omens for no reason in people's decks all the time. Thank you for showing up. I will flash that back, though. I knew I'd have to draw the Emrakul eventually. I'm just fortunate it's not on a turn where I actually need to not have it in my hand. Like the one turn earlier against um, Zoo or Dredge. Yeah, three Resto Angels is a big problem. Kind of sitting here with this Spell Snare feeling like I should have used it earlier. If I had countered the first Wall of Omens, there's a chance that a lot of this doesn't cascade out of control. But this feels kind of problematic at this point. I think it's also possible I was supposed to spell snare the mana leak. I do get another chance at it this turn. Don't want random extra lands. I think I'm supposed to block with one spirit. Not go to one. Yeah. I have a feeling this doesn't end nicely for me regardless of how it goes. Ordered as if my opponent was the creatureless version. I'm going to get punished a little bit for that. Yeah, I can... Uh, so I can souls? Yeah, here we go. Not dead. Need to leave back that to probably ensure not death. The lighthouse is a big problem here. Having Resto and Nahiri in your deck does seem like it uh, brings up some issues against decks where you get punished for clunk factor. I should have suspended vision. Yeah, this this is just all falling apart. Yeah, 
I don't think that this is a position I can come back from. I'm like chump locking in the face of Nahiri. I guess I could have tried to mount a celestial Colin out of cell, but that's sketchy at best. Let's throw. Let's keep one bolt. Is that better than electrolyze? I think so. Just need ways to answer Angel more than anything else so that I can get ahead. Ew. I like this. Uh, second vision. Interesting. That. Hmm. I like that. I think that in the face of all the four drops, I may have wanted the counter flux. There is not a creature or anything on two that I'm afraid of, so that's fine. Now I just sit here, I mana leak the first thing I see, basically. Well, that makes my life a little easier because I no longer have to mana leak Resto. Get blue red. Get white red. I think I want to get white red. That's my second white source for Celestial. Yeah, and I have no need to pull any triggers on Nahiri. I can just fight whenever I want to fight. <sighs> this gets blue-red. Okay, let's see what happens. Gotta wait one more trigger. Um, I think I'm supposed to counter back. It sticks me here. Yeah, I wonder how bad is that? I think I might be able to fight a Nahiri even if my opponent resolves it after this. If they have another counter, I'm just fighting the same war next turn. If they have, well, if they have remand, whatever they have remand. <sighs> Running real good today. Just perfect draw. No, thank you. You are definitely not allowed to resolve Snapcaster Mage on my watch.
Not the greatest set of draws, actually. But the fact that I can threaten Celestial Attack next turn into an Ahiri is nice. Do I want... To, I think I want a Nahiri here. I was going to say this is bad against Snapcaster, then I remember what Spell Snare is for. Now we're just digging to action. Now we're just turning land into land. Oh, baby. This is good for me. Yeah, I want you to draw that first. I think I want to path here before my opponent has a chance to untap. I'm definitely soulsing, which I think implies that I don't need this mountain. That's a fine draw. Pretty sure I'm just supposed to flashback too and just have the maximum amount on board. So I can start pressuring or doing whatever. And I want to play a land because I want to be able to animate Celestial, have the mana up to dispel and attack or block with it. Sure. I'll save dispel for a real fight. Any extra lands from here are dead. I didn't need the seventh land, but having access to it on that turn is nice. Sure. So I'll get blue white. I'm debating if I just snap off the path on that. Nah. There's later fights that are better. I can just shove a bunch of 1-1s one -ones in front of it. What is this? Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, you say? Uh, and you have Mana Leak Mana up. Okay. What am I doing right now? I think I just hit the main phase path, Rusto. This is a bit of a sweat, I might just die. <laughs> Did 
Head to remand, right? I don't... Remand targeting spell snare. Yep. Just dead. Hmm. Is there anything I could have done about that that game? No, that was not what I was expecting in the slightest. Well then, good games. Good beats.